This is gonna be a quick and short update video. So I'm turning 24 years old tomorrow and I decided to spoil myself with a few presents. And I wanna share those with you guys. So the first thing I wanna talk about is this big plate right here. So this is an inch thick ATP5 cast and milled flat aluminum. And the finish on it is pretty nice. You can see my reflection. So this is gonna be the new bed on my machine. I'm very excited to start mounting it. Before I do that, I did promise you guys an update video that is coming. I do apologize, my lights kind of went out and it's hasn't really been uh, easy to do that. So before I start tearing it down and installing the upgrades, there is gonna be an update video. The next thing I wanna share, this is something I'm very, very, very excited about. This is made in the same uh, city even that I was born in, Minsk, Belarus. These are made by Sergei, and what I think he's doing is really cool. So, I paid less than $300 for this. This is a wireless touch probe. So, you can see the receiver right here. Very easy to wire up. Um, haven't used it yet. I don't have uh, anything to calibrate it with. I'm gonna have to start writing macros And so this is a project in itself, but uh, this is gonna be really really cool So I still need to get an ISO 20 tool holder that will fit this because the issue right now is I only have so much Z height on my tool rack so yep, so I'm about uh, I want to say uh, five millimeters at the maximum too long. And so there's a bunch of ISO 20 tool holder uh, for touch, tool holders for touch probes, but those have like a, uh, I think they're meant for like a 10 millimeter shank. And so I'm gonna have to buy a sleeve or something like that to mount this up to one of those. And uh, also these I believe are M3 threaded. So I maybe might want to find a uh, cheaper, shorter one or something like that. I don't know. But uh, this is going to be very cool. And finally, I got myself a nice pair of calipers. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware these aren't necessarily more accurate, although these do measure to uh, 5 tenths. But um, the biggest issue for me is battery life. So I replaced the batteries like two months ago on this guy. And it's already, yeah, it's drifting. So, you know, they're good, they're nice, but uh, as far as, uh, you know, actual accuracy goes, I, I just can't trust it anymore. And so I'm still going to use it. It's an 8-inch, so I'm still going to use it, but I'm very happy to finally have a quality tool. And, uh, I mean, the quality of this tool, um, I think, is worth the price alone. This is the uh, coolant proof. This is the newer version. That's why the battery cover looks different. Um, I did buy this off Amazon because since it's a newer version, I trust it a bit more. But, um, yeah, that's about it. So, thanks for watching this video, and I hope you guys watch the next one.